and welcome to my channel. This is my very first video on this new channel and this channel is going to be dedicated to film and tech reviews. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure to subscribe and stick around. All right, enough about me. Let's talk about you and answering the questions you probably have about the Sony ZV-E10 and if this camera is actually for you. Okay, so I'm gonna go over what this camera comes with and everything in the box and, and also what different features the camera offers, what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and also I will be able to provide some photo and video samples that I actually was able to take on my trip to Hawaii. So definitely stick around through the whole video to really figure out if this is the camera for you. So what's in the box and what does it come with? So there's two options that you can get on Amazon. You can get the camera only and you can also get the camera with a kit lens. And the kit lens it comes with is a 16 to 50 millimeter lens. On Amazon, the body only is 698, weird number. And then with the kit lens, it's 798. So what I went for was the camera and the lens, the kit lens. So those are the price options right there. Okay, so in the box, you do receive the camera with the lens already attached if you do get it with the kit lens. It comes with a type C charger and I have a ton of these type C chargers so I don't think this is the charger it came with but it's it's black and small it looks like this. It comes with the user manual and um, it comes in a little bag like this to keep it protected. It also comes with, it's probably super loud I'm sorry, it also comes with a dead cat which is a muffler for the mic and it comes with a little strap for your neck to hold the camera. It comes, it does not come with SD card. And I saw that was actually a few questions that people had on Amazon when I was looking and no, it does not come with SD card. So make sure to get an SD card because if you get the camera and you're excited to use it, you can't even use it if you don't have an SD card. So make sure you get an SD card. You don't need a strap because that was actually one thing I was wondering when ordering it. That's why I got myself a strap really was because I just didn't know if it came with a strap or not. So yes, it does come with a strap. I would get a tripod. If you plan on vlogging or even just doing a talking head video, get a tripod, you need a tripod. Okay, so let's talk about the features of this little guy. Like, it is, look how small this is. I mean, I have really big hands, so it probably looks even more small. Um, but for someone with small hands, this is like great. This is perfect. And it's light. It's, it's less than a pound. Like maybe it's a pound, but like I feel like it's less than a pound. Um, it's super compact. Like honestly, I could probably fit this in my pocket. No, I can't fit it in my pocket, but it's really small. And that's what I love about it. But let's talk about the features, like some of the things it comes with. So like I said, it comes with a lens that is a 16 to 15. 50 millimeter and it is pretty good like definitely the width of it the size of the actual lens is pretty small so if you are wanting to get an ND filter make sure to get the right size because it is pretty small so first off the layout on it is like super simple very user friendly you have the shutter button the zoom in toggle right here you have an on and off button right on top there's one button for both for all three of camera, video, and slow and quick option, which slow and quick is just slow-mo. Um, and then they also have an autofocus button that is very, 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 very cool because um, it's pretty much you just press it and it tones down, it takes down your f-stop to the lowest possible and then it blurs out your background as much as possible and it's just one button. You don't have to do it yourself. So it's very easy um, in that way. Then on the back, there's menu, there's a dial that you can change like display, the timing of how many, you know, pictures, like if you're doing like three second timing for pictures, um, exposure, playback button, trash can, like very easy, like on most cameras it has that. And then it has a screen that does fully articulate, which is very cool. So you can look at yourself. So you can see this is a very good vlogging type camera because you can see yourself and it is so, clean and sleek like that's just what I like you know and I went for the there's actually two colors you can get you can get a white which has like a silver lens and then you get the all black I went for all black because yeah no 
I like this, this is cool. And then on top you have the mic, which is actually a really big mic and it, it's really good. So you'll see definitely some of the samples I have of both like in a very crowded setting and which I wish I brought the the dead cat because I was in a really loud setting and I just wish, you know, it was kind of loud. You hear, you hear a lot in it, so, um, but it's a really good mic. You can attach your own mic to it, which I would recommend if you're trying to do something more professional, but you know, this is this is really good so it has the little tripod screw area there's probably a correct word for that but i don't know it at the moment and then on the bottom you have where the battery goes and where the sd card goes and then which i discovered recently which i don't even know why i didn't realize this but there's an area on the bottom of this where you can actually have a battery that plugs into the wall so this can be charging while you're using it like as a webcam or um yeah i heard i think only a webcam i'm not sure if you can record and charge at the same time but either way it keeps this on while you're using it and on the side of it there's a mic port and it's red so you can't miss it and then under that there's also a little door that has type c port and a micro hdmi port and then under that is a headphone jack yeah on that little area you would never know and they also have a dial right here there's dials all around it that you can like dial around and to be able to adjust your settings while recording so it's very cute like i can't stop saying that how cute this thing is another thing that i feel like is a question that is probably asked a lot um that obviously some people would know the answer and be like oh duh but some people don't and this camera does not come with a flash so just a heads up for anyone that is wondering that it does it but the hot shoe you could definitely add one in there if you um, need a flash for some reason so so another thing that makes this camera really awesome is the APC feature about it it's APC type which basically means it has a larger sensor which means better image better image quality and it also means it does better in low light and then it also has more of a shallow depth of field which is great because it shallow depth of field makes your stuff look that much more professional so that's something um, that this camera offers, which is very cool about it. Another really cool thing about this camera is that it is a mirrorless camera, so you can put different kind of lenses on here that um, are compatible with this camera and is also e-mount. And if you have like a different kind of vision in your head, like you just, you know, like whatever you want, you can pop this thing off and put a fancier one on so it's just it's very cool how you can have that option and um, i just like that as like a beginner slash intermediate videographer that i can practice with this small one and then the better i get the more i start to understand camera and lenses even more i can buy a fancier one and pop that on and just yeah i can keep going up the uh, going up the line of fancy lenses and so i i really love how it has that feature and that option something else about this is that it has a really good auto intelligent for photo and video so like if you do not know how to use manual whatsoever the auto option is really not bad pretty much from um, the first part of my trip in Hawaii I was using auto it, it looked great it looks great this camera also has active stabilization in it. You can turn it on and off within settings and um, it's very good. I will also show samples of that. So yeah, like I said before, like the auto is really good, but if you do know how to use a camera and like different settings, the manual, if you're in manual, you can only imagine how much better your image quality is gonna be. Like if you just know how to adjust it, like. This camera is powerful, so I would definitely try to learn how to use a manual. They have different modes. You can also put this camera in, like portrait, landscape. Um, I think it was like nightlife, something moving fast. Like there's different modes you can put it in. Um, but yeah, if you know how to use manual, I would definitely recommend using manual. Another feature that, you know, some might be wondering is that, is it touchscreen? And yes, it is touchscreen, but it's very limited touchscreen. It can pretty, pretty much only be used for shutter speed, focus point, and subject tracking. There's not much else it can do, but yeah, if you know, if you are wondering that, yes, there is a touchscreen. Um, another thing about this camera is that it is 4K, and the 4K works for both 24 frames per second and 30 frames per second, and it's very good. I love 4K. Like I do not shoot in everything else. 4K, 24 frames per second. That's what I'm shooting on here. It does take up a ton of space 
but it's great, it's worth it. So now that we went over some of the basic features that this camera offers, let's talk about what I like about it. And there is a lot that I like about this camera. First off, I said in the beginning like a hundred times what I love how small it is. I love how small this camera is. And um, I, just, I just think it's so convenient, especially I'm a mom and I feel like my hands are constantly full, like physically full holding things. So I love this about this camera. It's lightweight, it's cute, and yeah, like I'm holding it with one hand right now, which I don't recommend, but <laughs> it's, it's that easy and lightweight and it's just so small and you could probably fit it in your pocket. Like honestly, you could, you probably could. And then even like holding it on your neck, it's like not a huge thing that's like swinging back and forth, you know, it's like very small. Another thing I really like about this camera is how user friendly it is. Um, I got this a week before going to Hawaii. I think it was about two weeks before going to Hawaii and it was definitely not enough time for me to really learn how to use the camera. But yeah, I was still able to get a lot of good footage with, you know, just knowing very minimal about it. But it was just that easy and user friendly that I figured it out very quickly and when I was on the go. Like, so I really love that about this camera. The other thing I really like about this camera is how versatile it is. So you can do so much with this camera from something as simple as recording a talking head like YouTube and to vlogging, taking it everywhere, taking on trips, you know, planes out in landscape and nature, different weather, you know. Know, and then all the way to recording a short film like you could literally record a short professional looking film on this camera and so I just really like that option like it that it has I just yeah I just think it's super awesome and definitely like just makes it that much more worth the money and I just really find it amazing how much you can do with this little camera Another thing that I definitely love about this camera is what you get for only $800. Like it's $798, obviously with tax it comes up to like a little over $800. And if you're strategic about it, you can definitely make that $800 back with just one video for someone, you know? And, um, and that sounds like a lot, like maybe a little bit more videos, but you definitely can make that money back very quickly just because it is so powerful and you can get a lot of professional looking footage done through this so definitely the price on it was like yeah it made this camera like a 9 out of 10 just because of the price on it and how powerful it is okay so let's talk about things i don't like about this camera and there's not a lot but there are some things that are a little bit annoying um but honestly i feel weird complaining about it like considering how much it can do but yes there are some things that are just annoying. One of them is that it, the menu is a little complex and I know like I've been advocating saying this is a great beginner friendly camera but in the menu there are some things that make it a little bit confusing like for example there'll be different options that are grayed out that you can't even touch them or use them and that's actually because you're not in the correct mode to use it and so if you're not familiar with Sony's menu layout that can be confusing and then you can be like going back and forth and trying to figure out and so that was me a couple times just like constantly like pressing back 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 okay i can't figure that out you know and so it was just a little bit time consuming but with just learning the camera more i i can see how that isn't an issue but as someone who is more beginner with sony like that was definitely a little bit confusing for me and i can see how that can be a little bit confusing for other users so that's one thing to consider. Another thing I didn't really like about it that I kind of, I don't know, I just, I guess like since this is all about like convenience and quickness, like um, the touch screen and how limited it is, I would like if it had a little bit more options to touch. Like I know the subject tracking and the focus point is great and all, but like um, just going through like playback menu, I would like to just touch, you know, and just press it or like, the menu and like auto white balance or ISO, I would just like to be able to like just touch those things just cause I'm like, if I'm in a quickness, I just wanna press it and not like, you know, scroll and scroll and scroll until I get it and then press the middle button. So I just, it's a stupid complaint, but <laughs> that's like one complaint I did have about it. And then lastly, which I heard a lot of people complaining about, and that is the active stabilization and how it crops a ton of your screen when you use it. And um, I would definitely show a sample of that to, you know, to, so you can see what I mean. It's for me when I was actually using it, I didn't feel like it was a huge issue until I wanted more of my 
more of a wide angle and then I also was moving um, so that's when it like got annoying and I realized okay I can see why people are irritated with this so uh, that's just one small thing and it can be an easy fix with a different lens um, but yeah so that was just like the one um, and maybe not an easy fix with a different lens but you know some lenses have stabilization within them and you know maybe you can use that instead of the active lens but but yeah so that was just like one little thing not a big deal but yeah one thing i don't like about it and one thing apparently a lot of people don't like about it so okay so let me finally show you guys some of the sample video footage and some pictures i've gotten with this camera So there's three types of people I think this camera is great for. And the first one is someone who is a beginner that just really wants to grow their skills in videography. And either this person can't afford the thousand dollar fancy cameras or they just simply want to start out small because 
The camera world is definitely overwhelming when you're trying to look for the right camera. This camera is also great for this type of person because you can really practice basic cinematography like camera movement, composition, different type of angles, lenses, camera settings, and all these things within this little guy. You don't need a super fancy expensive camera because you can get a super fancy expensive camera, but if you don't know those basic things, then your footage is still not gonna look good at all. So I think this is great for someone like that. Um, I feel like I'm a person like that. That's why I started with this because I wasn't ready to go to like these fancy camcorders. I just, I wanted something that I could really practice my skill and yeah, that's one person I really think it's good for. The second type of person I think would benefit from this camera is someone that's doing talking head videos like YouTube and vlogs. Like I said, I've mentioned it a million times that this camera is just like easy, compact, and it, it's really meant to be a vlog camera, like hence the screen that flips over and just the the simplicity of it. It's just, it's not, you know, meant to be really shooting short films as you can, but like this is like a, a vlog social media camera. So I think it would, a person like that would definitely benefit from this. So the third person that would benefit from this is someone that kind of just wants an all-in-one camera kind of like a mom <laughs> and someone that just wants something small it takes great pictures it takes great videos and is affordable and yeah i think a person like that would definitely benefit from this because this is all in one camera like it really does it all and you can do more if you want so and it's super affordable so if you are any of these people this camera is for you point blank and really i'm all three of these type of people like that that's me and so i basically describe myself like i mentioned a hundred times this camera is a great starter slash vlog camera slash affordable camera like it's a great camera for all of that and honestly one of the best purchases that i've made so i hope you benefited from this video and make sure to like and comment if there's any other videos you all would like me to make about this particular camera. And if any of you are film junkies like me, I plan to start making actually movie reviews in the near future. And if that's something you like, make sure to subscribe. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.